it's me imad from nelson darwin park tech youtube channel so in this video tutorial we will learn about the interfacing of flame sensor with the arduino uno first you must know that flame sensor is not the built-in part of the arduino sorry the proteus software so you must have to use the same file which whose link is given in the description so you can download it from the link available and mentioned inside the description so first you need to go to the component mode and click on p then you can write flame flame sensor so this is our flame sensor okay now this is very simple it will just take one pulse that is of uh, high level or logic one and it will give one out nothing more complicated so we also need to take the Arduino microcontroller so we need to take our Arduino microcontroller okay now we, we need to connect it with the out of the sensor so that the signal will come to the A0 pin which is internally connected to the ADC that is analog to digital converter okay now we will take our logic probe uh, sorry logic state so we can give some sort of plus 5 volt or logic 1 to the it's called is the sensor that is the fire sensor or flame sensor the actual word is flame sensor rather than the fire sensor okay now uh, we also need to double click on or right click on this sensor then click on edit properties and we need to click on attach hierarchy module okay also we need to go to the child sheet okay okay we, we also need to do some work here like uh, we need to place input and then output we need to connect them then input uh, just in it, it, it will work okay uh, in and out yeah. Okay, now we will exit to parent sheet so in and out okay now okay now we will come towards our Arduino code but before going to the Arduino code for to for to see the output we need one serial monitor analyzer or a virtual terminal this is just like the serial monitor inside your original Arduino IDE so TX to RX and RX to tx okay so this is our setup now we will go towards the arduino programming so open the arduino wait until it opens okay now click on file and then new okay uh, in white setup first of all we will initiate our serial communication because with this serial dot begin function we are able to communicate or to show values serially on the virtual terminal also uh, or it's okay now we will move towards our wired loop here we will declare any variable that is a and the log read of a0 and g is equal to map of A, comma 0 comma 10 comma 0 comma 255 so if G is greater than 200 then we will write serial dot print ln flame detected okay so what is meant by this line these lines of code 
so here we have declared a variable a and also a variable g they are of integer data type that is you can see the word in here now what analog read function will do it will it will check any sort of signal or data present on analog pin a0 and it will take all the values from a0 and store inside this variable a after giving the values to variable a variable a will be scaled how it used to scale on x axis there are like uh, on x axis we have 1024 divisions of this signal and on y axis there are 256 divisions okay like like we are seeing one signal in one second for 1024 times and this is also called as mapping or scaling or whatsoever you want to say then all the values will be stored inside this g and now if condition will check that either g is greater than 200 and if it is true then flame detected will be printed out and if g is less than 200 then no flame at all if g is less than 200 then no flame detected no flame detected so we need to go to tools we need to change the uh, Arduino Uno we need to select Arduino Uno and then run okay you can run it It's taking a bit of time, but you can wait. usually the compiling do not use to take a lot of time so at your machine or laptop it will just compile in no time okay dot ino dot hex control c we need to paste that link here okay so this is okay so now now we will go and run our circuit so it is written no flame detected so when we used to okay uh, it, it it is not uh, considered this logic one as five volts so we can do one more thing that we can connect we can connect a simple dc sign source no problem uh, obviously the logic one is 5 volt but if it is not treating this logic one as 5 volt no problem at all we can write 4 or 5 volt and now we will run it now it is flame detected okay and double click and this is 0 sorry this is 0 and okay and no flame detected so hopefully now you can simulate this file or this project in your Proteus. So thanks for visiting our channel.